What's up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Danny Matthews. Now let me ask you a question. Have you ever came across a Adobe Premiere where you see these weird lines? You got the green, the red, the yellow, so many different colors. Sure, you know what those colors mean, but in theory, do you really know what it means in Adobe Premiere? Dope. Well, don't fret because today I'm going to show you exactly what to do with those, all the different render settings for it, and you'll never be left in the dark about render options ever again. So let's jump into Adobe Premiere. For reference in Premiere, my timeline is here, my toolbar is here, here's my source panel, my project and effects window is going to be here, here is the effects control for that, and finally the preview window. All right, now that you know where we are in Adobe Premiere, Come over here to your timeline and we're gonna check this thing out. So as you can see right up here on our bar, we have this yellow line. And if you were like me and you're first getting into Adobe Premiere, you had no idea what that meant. You're just like, cool, it's probably like whatever, but it plays fine, right? So, you know, no big deal. And you're right, no big deal if it plays fine. But what happens if it doesn't play fine and it's still yellow? What do you do? Well, I'm gonna tell you exactly what each bar means and how to get past each one. Obviously we have the green bar. The green bar means it's completely rendered. You will have no stoppage in your live previewing. The second one is the yellow. You might have some encounter with it not fully playing through smoothly as well as it is not fully rendered out second is the red this is not rendered out these are hard effects that are not gonna play smoothly on your computer sometimes you get by it sometimes you don't but for the most part anything that's red you're gonna have to render these out what does a red line look like a red line looks like this you can see that this is a red line indicating that this is something that has not had a chance to be rendered in any which way wave warp is a very intense program it needs to be rendered we have two options here we can press simply enter on our keyboard and we get a render file here and it's gonna take some time but what happens if you have to render this out and it won't let you use the enter key there's another way for the most part you can render anything out that is red by pressing enter but it will not render out the yellow part say there's a yellow section where it's just not going through it's just not smooth what you're gonna want to do is come over here to your sequence settings there's render effects into out and there's render into out these are two different things when you hit enter on your keypad you are hitting render effects into out you're only rendering out effects that are gonna have that red bar that's why it has a red bar because it has to render out the effects we want to render out into out because it's going to do the entire timeline whether green yellow blue black red you know what i mean just the three colors whether it's green yellow or red it's going to render it out completely so go ahead and hit that and see what happens when you do that <sighs> goodness gracious if you're having trouble finding a computer that can render this out quickly Go ahead and check out one of these computers that I suggest to go ahead and buy for it. And as you can see, we got the effect and it's rolling. Out here we have everything. It's all green the entire timeline and that's what you want sometimes. You don't always want that because is if you change anything on this timeline, whether you move a clip, change a clip, add anything to it, it's going to re set it meaning that everything that's already been rendered out is not going to be rendered out any longer so that's going to be a big issue for you on that and why you would simply just press enter it's going to be a quicker way to get your effects going and you can preview it real quick so now that you know what all of the render options mean if you have any questions whatsoever go leave it down below in the comments and i'll get back to you guys on that asap and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out mm, dope. i swear i'm here in spirit I just got tired of doing the outro and no one watching it, so.